Well, things are good so far. We've uh, been able to get outside a fair amount of times, and uh, you know, it's warm enough. It's obviously not balmy, but uh, we've been in and out, but we've been out as much as we've been inside. So, you know, that's about as much as you can ask for uh, this time of year. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's fine. I mean, obviously, that's a, at this point a publicity poll, and uh, I think there's 14 weeks in the season or so, so that's about right. You know, <laughs> you know we always start off with. Uh, you know, heavy dose of fundamentals going back to the building blocks of what we do uh, from mechanics to, to hitting, pitching, fielding. Uh, and then we spend a lot of time on uh, team related stuff, uh, it, not necessarily between the lines, but just, uh, you know, the culture of how we're going to function as a team uh, and what it means. And we spend a lot of time on that. Well, just to name a few, you know, obviously J.R. McDermott, he's back, he's healthy. Uh, Tyler Day's back, he's healthy. The two guys we lost late last year, so we anticipate them being in the rotation. Um, you know, and I'm gonna forget some people, but you know, uh, some new guys, we picked up a nice left-handed pitcher from Colorado Northwestern, Chris Ramirez, who was the pitcher of the year in, in Region 18 up there. Uh, we got a nice transfer from Gonzaga, uh, Eli Thornquist, left-handed pitcher, uh, who we had previously recruited, but he chose Gonzaga, and for whatever reason, you know, things didn't necessarily work for him up there. And, and so we got him back here. Uh, so those are some guys. We got a good pickup from Grand Canyon, Britt Paskowitz, who we think will be a, a two-way guy that will fill her in, potentially our closer. Uh, and he's a kid, another kid that we recruited out of junior college from Paradise Valley there in Arizona, and uh, but didn't get. But now we got him. So those are those are some uh, Taylor Procopus uh, returns. Uh, you know we, we've got. Uh, you know, I'm going to forget guys here, but we feel like we have good pitching depth, good competition in the starting ranks, and a couple of options uh, for the short inning or closer roles. And I think the biggest challenge is getting them to understand that we're going to just truly worry about the things we can control. We can't control that, and we're going to probably have to play in it at some point in time. Uh, and so we don't hear those uh, complaints very often. We don't tolerate that very much, and, but that's something that's policed amongst the guys too. We just try to put the nose down and go to work. And, you know, today's gonna to be a challenge. I mean, it's cold, it's windy, uh, but that's what it is. And and we'll just uh, keep a great tempo of practice and it won't be brought up. And, you know, if we get into a, a realm where it's it's that borderline too cold as we approach freezing, then we look at moving, as particularly the, the pitchers indoors for some bullpens, because especially this early time of, of year we want, uh, to get the arms healthy and off to a good start. Yeah, we have. You know, we've amped up our strength and conditioning program in terms of the discipline in there. We've gotten to a lot more early mornings. Uh, we've uh, incorporated a lot of uh, competition in the weight room. Uh, and competition, not so much as, you know, who can lift the most, but things that are uh, of mental nature. Uh, you know, who can outlast who, you know, where things get hard and your mind tells you to stop. So we've done a lot of that. Uh, and it just pushed them hard and demanded just a little bit.